And hi, how are you? I'm Dylan Plack. Welcome to a new episode of Daytime Ottawa right here on Rogers TV. Always nice to have you here. Let's start the show with a giveaway. How cool is that, okay? Disney's The Nutcracker and the Four Realms available on Blu-ray and digital tomorrow. You could win a copy right now. All you have to do is email us. Simple daytime, Ottawa at rogers.com. We'll get your name into the draw. If you're watching the repeat at 6 and 11, we'll also get your name into the draw. There you go. So good luck. We'll be doing this all week right here on daytime. Um, Grill 41 in the Lord Elgin Hotel has uh, been newly refreshed. Exciting. Just in time for winter loot. Let's uh, find out more right now with Neil Mather, executive chef at the Lord Elgin Hotel. Hello, Neil. How you doing? Good. And we also have a shock. Landrio as well. Sous chef at the Lord Elgin. Hi. How you doing? Good to have you here. Now, Neil, why did this... Uh, this refresh have to happen? Well, most people are actually, a lot of people ask me that and they said, gee, it's like you guys just opened uh, the other day, but it's been like, it's been over eight years since they opened the Grill 41, so it was mm. due for a refresh and we were looking for a good time to do it. Usually January is a little bit quiet, so mm -hmm. we closed it down for three weeks and uh, did a full refresh inside, so. And all, now you're, all, you're, all, you're all, all geared up, ready to go for winter loot and all the fun. That's right, it, it takes off right away. That's what we were yeah. just saying before. It's like the, this weekend's when it just starts to get crazy, so yeah. and it just keeps going. So it's when it comes to the refresh, what exactly did you refresh? Uh, we redid the bar uh, completely. We uh, we built a, we took out a lounge area and rebuilt a whole new lounge area in there. We got all new TVs in there. We got all new flooring. We got mm. new lighting, new walls, wallpaper. So the when you walk in, you know, that's the design elements that pop out at you for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. they did a beautiful uh, mirrored feature walls. It looks really sharp. Mm -hmm. They really so updated it. Eight years, the uh, fabulous Lord Elgin Hotel. For people who don't know about the Lord Elgin Hotel, I mean, it's a historical site. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the hotel was started in uh, 1941. And uh, that's why they call it Grill 41, you know, kind of. Yeah. Because it was a cool idea for a name, I thought. Um, and uh, of course, you know, the history of the hotel, is, there's been all kinds of great chefs there and it's, uh, it's always been a wonderful food and beverage place, but uh, Grill 41 has been phenomenally, phenomenally successful, so we're proud to be part mm -hmm. of it for sure. Okay. Jacques, yeah, I think we better get to this because uh, I know you have a couple of dishes uh, that you're going to create uh, here for us on daytime, so what exactly are you going to be making? Uh, I'm making a take on a Caesar salad here. It's got a citrus cream. Okay, what exactly is in that citrus cream? Uh, just uh, lemon juice and zest. Okay, all right. So this is Caesar salad. Sorry, house dressing. We're, we're doing that with a little seared scallop as well, so it's kind of a funky uh, twist on it. Okay. And uh, part of the thing that we did with the new menu is uh, we have features every day so that the guys can sort of you know, show their creativity and come up with new ideas and sort of play with it. We got some new dishware and stuff like that, so we can kind of uh, do something different every day. Okay. We have lunch features and also dinner features. Okay, so, so you're saying then, Neil, that this is one of the new dishes? This is a feature dish, so this would be the kind of thing. You could either come in, you could find this maybe as a lunch item and come in and it'd be like a, a lunch feature, or this could be a starter in the evening for a table d'hote uh, special. Okay, now, uh, Jacques, you're making this look real easy, but of course you had this uh, sort of prepared in advance. Uh, is, it, is it quick to put together one of these Caesar salad dishes? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. That doesn't take no time at all. Yeah, okay. And I see that Neil's putting the finish, finishing touches on it. And what else are you making here today? We're going to do a beef tenderloin with a uh, sweet potato puree, some heirloom carrots and uh, green bean, mm -hmm. and our house demi. Okay. Yummy. All right, so can you tell me then, uh, Neil, uh, about the Winter Loot Fund that's going to be taking place, kicking off next weekend? Yeah, so we have uh, the launch event on Friday, which is actually for uh, Heritage Canada. So we'll be doing that at the hotel. We're the host uh, for that launch event every year. And then um, we also have uh, on the we have another event actually at our or the, at a neighbor hotel because Gillen Hotels owns like three hotels there in the corner. So at the Metcalf, we're doing a launch party as well that night on the Friday. And then Saturday we're going to have. Uh, an ice carving competition for uh, from the local ice carvers in Ottawa, and there's going to be seven of them being done out on the patios. So the public can come out to that actually on Saturday, and you can actually even vote for a People's Choice Award, okay. which we'll be given in the afternoon. You're not going to be participating in the ice carving contest yourself? Not the contest. I'll be a judge, though. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we get some cool prizes for them, and uh, we always host the ice carvers. We always had a long-standing partnership. They do, they do their, after everything's done, they always have their their party on a Sunday night and we do dinner and that for them. We'll be making them lunch that day too, so mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. And then uh, John Morris is coming down from the CN Tower, who's the, the chef from the CN Tower. Like he's literally coming down from the CN Tower. Literally yeah. coming down from the, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us a bit, more, <laughs> a bit more about John Morris then? Yeah, so, that, that, so then on that Saturday night, he's gonna do a pop-up dinner with us and it's an indigenous theme menu. So we got like a, uh, we're doing a little pass for herbs and then we got like a, fi a five course meal. And he's doing, so we're gonna have some elk, we got bison. 
We wow. get to, it's a pretty, pretty cool menu. Real so, Canadiana. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that uh, definitely always something happening at Lord Elgin, and uh, you were just putting the finishing touches on this? Yeah, I'm just going to cut this tenderloin open. Okay. What are you looking for when, uh, when, when you need like a perfect tenderloin? Oh, a nice medium rare would be good. Nice medium rare. Look at, that. Look at those slices. There we go. Looks like you have it figured out. There we go, not bad. <laughs> with, a, with a strange oven, it still worked out. Yeah? <laughs> What are you calling our oven screen for? <laughs> okay, so can I ask you how many new items are on the menu? Oh, well, we've revamped it quite a bit, actually. And, and one of the things we did was we kind of looked back at uh, Grill 41 being, you know, Lord, uh, or Lord Elgin and being a Scottish, uh, Scot bringing a little more Scottish tradition. So in all of the different, uh, our snack menu, our lunch menu, our dinner menu, we've put a couple of Scottish dishes on there, too. Mm. So we've got like a play on, uh, on a Scottish breakfast. We've got a Scotch egg. We've got a good, cool fish and chips and some Scottish smoked salmon dish. Mm -hmm. And then we got our traditional stuff, like we still got uh, surf and turf, which is always super popular. All the steaks, I mean, we got a dry-aged ribeye that's one that we, we age for over 36 days. So. Okay. And who came up with the new creations? We did it together. Yeah. You know, we come up, we, we, brain, yeah, we brainstorm different things. We try these specials, and then we say, hey, that's really good. People liked it, and we put it on the menu. Right? Yeah. So. Jacques, is it hard to come up with new creations? No, it's a lot of fun, you know, especially in a, working in a building like that. Uh, you, you really try and step it up every day, right? Yeah, so, I can imagine, because yeah. people, uh, especially this time of year, they expect nothing but the best from Girl 41. Winter loot, keep them warm and, and healthy feeling. Uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, some of the uh, the wine selections that you have there as well, Neil? You've got to quite the... We like got it, yeah. We, so we're uh, we're always doing like uh, the we, we pair every uh, event that we do with the different winery. So this one's Kin Winery, which is uh, you know from from here out in Carp, a local winery, and uh, we're we're doing um, uh, in a skillin with our Valentine's Day menu. We have a huge wine wall if you haven't been in our private dining room. So mm -hmm. we keep like a you know a quite quite an extensive stock. We usually mm -hmm. have hundreds of bottles nice of wine. Work. And look at that steak, looks real good. Uh, Grill41.ca. Thank you very much, Neil and Jacques, and happy Winterlude as well. Thank you. Thank you. More daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.